Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Red Dead Redemption. I don't know what happened. I lost one subscriber today. You can tell me in the comment section what is wrong. You don't have to leave. over with and kill you good. Ran. Bro, I wanted to watch a movie. I can't watch a movie because the man who is supposed to <laughs> give me the ticket is fucking afraid of me right now. It's alright, I'll come back here later. That was stupidly and stupidly funny, man. This fucking set. Not that close, I see. Come on. Go. Come on. Oh. a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map and I got to thinking Moses was a liar and I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his courts <laughs> and then I realized you realized you were sick in the head that you needed to move on with your own limited time on earth no partner I realized Moses were no liar it was Aiden O'Leary who said he had the body? Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. <laughs> Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even gonna wait until they're buried before you. <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. 
sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Why are they talking like that? Seth. What are you gonna do with those bodies? I'm gonna take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. Come on! Loitering with the pile of dead bodies ain't exactly the best idea. All right. I know a secluded spot where we can search these sleeping beauties. Keep to the left. We don't want to roll through town with these bodies. Where are you? Come on. Don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. But I killed everyone in the end. <laughs> They ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth, calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. Oh my, it's them damn treasure hunters. Try not to run a partner. We don't see them bodies first. Give them up, you leaving back. Fast as you can, partner. I'll search these bodies as we go. Any mighty mo. Shit, the map's gonna burn. Fire's gone! Try, partner! Oh, look here! I found me a few bullets! So, I guess this is goodbye. Hey, this fella's a little right. Bet he's got something on. We're spitting docks! Let's go! Work them horses! Where's my man? Come on! Yeah! This fella had a few bucks on. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Move them horses, damn it! Who's got a kiss for Seth? Head left at this turn! No need for money where you're going, friend. Keep in touch, old pal! Somebody needs a new cologne. That's the lab! It's the map! I found the map! <laughs> Looks like the trap is in tumbleweed. That's where I was headed. It's fate. Keep going. We're almost there. See? We're one big happy family. Figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. If you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. Let's go drive. What are you doing? Okay, I'm going to do Seth's cover mission here. So then... It will lead me to the other mission. I'm not doing that now. Let's do the other missions first.
I will to Marston, how are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. You don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, can you tell any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull and feeding to the vultures myself. Ah, uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <clears throat> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <clears throat> is money. Money? <clears throat> what are you talking about? Oh, uh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. <clears throat> and... I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? <laughs> no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating degenerate like myself can prosper. Come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. How <laughs> much? Awesome. Lab, awesome. Two, yeah, awesome. two, three. <laughs> Come on. 
on. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. Nobody's caught in a couple of freakers with a drop commanded his ways. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. And Robin Hood consumers. Uh oh, Robin. You're expecting to believe that puppy hot. Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to keep my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Hero, dear, dear, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil to dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Sam can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me!
Thanks, mister. I'll take care of this cart for Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we be a hasty retreat. Sir, well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish? Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow, and he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian rebel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? This friend of his... Uh, I think he's going to be a pain in my ass. Three dollars for all that trouble. Irish. Okay. I want to go to McFarland's ranch. Yeah, they will also stage coach while I'm with any idea. Yeah. Oh, hi, Anna. You're all going to make me late. Let's jump on in. I commend your decision to leave here. But where exactly are you headed? Plain view is with farm and below McFarland's ranch. McFarland's ranch, please! Don't worry about a thing. When we get where we're going, I'll wait. I'm going to take a nap. This is how you fast travel long distances. There you go! Another successful trip, not stuck. Let's do one mission and then we'll go for any other set mission I will go. Most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. We don't have much time. Easy okay, now. Come on, boys. Come on. Hey. The sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books. Others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Mr. McFarland. There ain't no change in that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. I'm gonna save my voice for the herd. It's 
going to be hard shouting over this storm.
back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Miss McFarland. mission here but before doing that we need to go here to tumbleweed so I need to see if there are any stage which I want to Stage push now. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl. Until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. I wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves' Land. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. 
why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed. What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend.
also have good honor meter see all the drivers Let's see how fast a girl like you draws iron. How are your lip? Someone needs to teach you some respect. Jack is blurry. like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh. That's all right, Steve. Hey, Seth. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just... Uh, One was... second, guys. Okay, sorry for that. Partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. Uh, yeah, it's running. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Go to the mansion. This is 
just that look, I figured they must be with you. treasured it very much. <laughs> stupid liars. Those stupid chicken shit maps. Make it a damn fool of me. A glass eye! It's a glass eye! Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Uh. 
Some dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. Okay. Finally one guy. Who can get me in the Fort Mercer? Okay, I think, yeah, it's time to end the video. So, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back with more exciting videos. Until then, stay tuned. And have a good day, guys. It's a large bag, maybe. Can't I buy any property here? Take care, have a good day.